the question is given as check whether the given expressions are polynomial or not so when we will say or when we will confirm a given expression as a polynomial if the power of a variable is a whole number then we will consider that particular expression as the polynomial so let us check the powers of every variable in the given question here for x power is 2 2 is a whole number here for x nothing is there so it means 1 power is a whole number so both the powers are whole numbers so it is a polynomial here for x power is 3 for x power is 2 for x nothing is there means 1 3 2 1 all three are whole numbers only so this is also a polynomial here power is minus 4 minus 4 is not a whole number so this is not a polynomial if one power is not a whole number also remaining no need to check even next one x plus 1 by x here what i will do is x i will write as it is plus how we can write 1 by x as according to the powers and exponents formulas 1 by x is x power minus 1 so here power is minus 1 minus 1 is not a whole number so this is not a polynomial next root x plus 5x how we can write the root x as x power 1 by 2 plus 5x as it is so here power is 1 by 2 and we know very well that 1 by 2 is not a whole number so this is also not a polynomial then what about root 2x plus 5x square now if you observe the difference between these two questions here root is there for alphabet i mean variable but here root 2 root is for the number or constant so here power is not there means 1 here power is 2 so both the powers are whole number so this is a polynomial okay then from the first question onwards we are checking only for the alphabets then what about a number then in the first question also number 6 is there here also 1 is there here 5 is there here uh, okay here direct number only there then what we can say about these numbers whether the number or a constant is a polynomial or not let us check it out once 2023 also can be written as 2023 into 1 2023 into 1 is same as 2023 now same 2023 i am writing as this into 1 i am replacing with x power 0 in exponents and powers we know very well that any number power 0 is 1 so that's why 1 i am replacing with any number power 0 that is nothing but x power 0 now if we observe here power is 0 0 is a whole number so this is a polynomial <clears throat> then what about the number 0 itself then of course 0 is also a constant so definitely this is also a polynomial moving to the next degree of a polynomial here the power is 2 here power is not there means 1 and for constant the power is a 0 right same like this one here okay so 2 1 and 0 in these three 2 is the biggest number so 2 will become the degree highest power of a polynomial is nothing but degree of the polynomial and here uh, power is 2 power is 3 here power not there 1 and for constant is 0 2 3 1 0 out of all this 3 is the biggest one so 3 is the degree of the polynomial then what about the degree of any constant for example i took here 2023 2023 can be written as 2000, sorry 2023 into 1 so 2023 as it is into 1 can be replaced with x power 0 so here power is 0 so the degree is 0 any constant degree is 0 just remember this always constant of sorry degree of any constant is 0 then what about the number 0 itself then in the previous question I said that very clearly that 0 is also a polynomial then if it is a polynomial then does it have a degree or else not there so let us find it out now 0 into any number is 0 only right so I am writing it as 0 into x power 5 the same way I can write it as 0 into x power 100 also the same way I can write it as 0 into x power 1000 also. Here I wrote 1000 and here I wrote 100. Actually, no worries. Okay. So, 0 into anything is 0. So, that's why I wrote just 3 examples here. Now, according to the first one, the degree is 5 because here 5 is the power. So, according to this one, here the degree is 1000. 
according to this one here degrees 100 so not only these three we can able to write n number of degrees like this so that is the reason for zero the degree is not defined okay let us go with once again degree of any constant is zero degree of a zero is not defined next Find the value of a given polynomial x square plus 5x plus 6 when x equals to 2. So it is very simple. Just in the place of x, we need to substitute 2. So the given polynomial is x square plus 5x plus 2. He is asking to take 2 as the x value, right? So in the place of x, let us substitute 2. Then it will become 2 square plus 5 into 2 plus 6. 2 square 4 plus 5 twos are 10 plus 6. 4 plus 10, 14, 14 plus 6, 20. So the value of the polynomial E is 20. Find the value of the given polynomial 2x square plus 5x plus 6 where x is equals to minus 2. In the previous question also, here also the same process but the only difference is in the previous one we substituted a positive number and in this case we are going to substitute a negative number. Whenever you are substituting a negative number or else a fraction you should be very careful because these are the numbers where we will do mistakes normally. So. 2 as it is into in the place of x we need to substitute minus 2 so minus 2 square as it is plus 5 into again in the place of x minus 2 plus 6 as it is 2 times what is the value of minus 2 square so if you get a doubt always go with the small rough work no worries at all minus 2 into minus 2 minus into minus plus 2 2 is 4 so the value of minus 2 square is 4 plus 5 of minus 2 plus 6 I am writing remaining all as it is in the next step, I will solve it further. Now, 2 4s are 8 plus into minus minus 5 2s are 10 plus 6 as it is. Now, first solve the positive numbers. 8 plus 6, 14. Write the negative number as it is minus 10. 14 minus 10, 4. So, the value of the given polynomial at x equals to minus 2 is 4. Find the value of the given polynomial 3x square minus 5x plus 1 where x value is 1 by 2. So 3 as it is in the place of x 1 by 2 square as it is minus 5 into in the place of x 1 by 2 plus 1 as it is. Now here 3 into what is the meaning of 1 by 2 whole square that means 1 by 2 is 2 times right 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 minus 5 into 1 by 2 plus 1 as it is here outside 3 I am writing as it is times 1 1 za 1 by 2 2 za 4 minus 5 times 1 by 2 plus 1 here multiply these two numbers 3 1 za 3 by 4 as it is minus multiply these two again 5 1 za 5 by 2 as it is plus 1 if you are perfect in the calculation then you can do all three solving here the together if you are not perfect please go separate separate so first i will go i am interested to solve these two cross multiplication 3 2 za 6 minus 5 4 za 20 by 2 4 za 8 plus 1 as it is that is equals to 6 minus 20 minus 14 by 8 plus 1 this one i am writing it as 1 by 1 so again cross multiplication minus 14 ones are minus 14 plus 8 ones are 8 by 8 ones are 8 so we will remains with minus 14 plus 8 is minus 6 by 8 as it is so 2 threes are 2 fours are final answer is minus 3 by 4 coming to the next question Check whether minus 2 and plus 2 are the zeros of x power 4 minus x 16. So, take the given polynomial x power 4 minus 16. Substitute 1 by number number. First, I am substituting minus 2. In the place of x, minus 2. Power 4 as it is, minus 16. That is equals to minus 2 power 4. Nothing but minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2. That will be 16 minus 16 as is 16 minus 16 0 so after substituting minus 2 we got the answer 0 then i can conclude that minus 2 is a 0 of the polynomial then now let us take the plus 2 
so in the place of x 2 2 power 4 minus 16 that is equals to 2 power 4 means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so that is 16 again minus 16 as it is 16 minus 16 0 so in this case also we got the answer 0 after substituting plus 2 so then we can say that 2 is the 0 of the given polynomial so finally we can conclude minus 2 and plus 2 both are zeros of the given polynomial x power 4 minus 16 Moving to the next one, find the zeros of x square plus 5x plus 6. So we are going to solve this by the method called factorization or splitting the middle term into two terms. Multiply the constant with the x square coefficient. Here constant is 6. Before the x square nothing is there so it means 1. Now constant is 6 and multiplying that with the x square coefficient. 6 1s are 6. 6 will come in which tables make a list of it 1 6 are 2 3 is are that's it only these two now the given question is x square plus 5x plus 6 right in the given polynomial every term is positive so in our pair also every number should be positive what is plus 1 plus 6 plus 7 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 in the middle we have plus 5 only so we need to take the second pair so x square as it is this middle term 5x i'll replace with 2x and 3x plus 2x plus 3x 6 as it is now from the first and the second terms we can take able to take common of x so we remains with x plus 2 from the third and fourth also we can able to take out three common then as usual we remains with x plus 2 always keep one thing in mind in this what you will get the bracket here also you will get the same of course you need to get the same then only you are doing correct now here two times bracket what is there x plus 2 right so the right one time into here extra x here extra plus 3 so x plus 3 so the factorization is x plus 2 times x plus 3 then how to find out the zeros from these factors just make it equals to 0 x plus 2 is equal to 0 x plus 3 equals to 0 plus 2 if you take another side minus 2 so x is equals to minus 2 plus 3 if you take another side minus 3 so x is equals to minus 3 so the zeros or roots of the given polynomial are minus 2 and minus 3 moving to the next find the zeros of the given polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 and verify the relation between the zeros and coefficients so first let us find out the zeros of the given polynomial the polynomial is x square plus 7x plus 10 so how how we are going to find out the zeros of the polynomial first multiplying the x square coefficient by the constant in this case constant is 10 multiplying with x square coefficient here before x square nothing is there so it means 1 10 ones are 10 now 10 ones are 10 right 10 will come in which tables let us write all those 1 10 2 5 that's it except this nothing now this given polynomial has all the positive terms only so our numbers also should be positive only plus 1 plus 10 is plus 11 5 plus 2 is 7 so second pair is required for us because the middle term is 7 now x square as it is 7x we can replace with 2x and 5x plus 2x plus 5x plus 10 as it is now from the first and second term we can take out x common then re remains with x plus 2 then 5 common remains with as usual x plus 2 so here x plus 2 x plus 2 is 2 times right write it once x plus 2 times here extra x here extra plus 5 so the factors are x plus 2 and x plus 5 then what about the zeros 
make x plus 2 is equal to 0 as well as x plus 5 is equal to 0 plus 2 if we take another side it becomes minus 2 so x is equal to minus 2 plus 5 if we take another side it becomes minus 5 so x is equal to minus 5 so the zeros of the given polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 are minus 2 and minus 5 so now here one number you take it as alpha and one number you take it as beta so alpha i am taking as minus 2 and beta i am taking as minus 5 now we need to find out the sum of the zeros and product of the zeros so first alpha plus beta is equals to alpha is minus 2 plus beta is minus 5 minus 2 plus into minus minus 5 minus 2 minus 5 minus 7 then alpha into beta that is product of the zeros minus 2 into minus 5 minus into minus plus 2 5 is a 10 so sum of the zeros that is alpha plus beta is minus 7 product of the zeros alpha beta is 10 so this is without formula right now let us do the same sum of the zeros and product of the zeros by the help of the formulas what is the given polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 what is the formula to find out the sum of the zeros of a quadratic equation alpha plus beta is equals to minus b by a and what is the formula for product of the zeros alpha into beta is equals to c by a for quadratic equation sorry quadratic polynomial now this minus symbol as it is what is b value then x square sorry x coefficient is b here x coefficient is 7 right so 7 by a what is a value then x square coefficient minus 7 by 1 minus 7 and alpha into beta c by a right constant constant is a 10 divided by a a square co sorry x square coefficient that is 1 10 by 1 10 now if you compare the previous one and this one alpha plus beta is minus 7 minus 7 alpha beta is 10 and this is also 10 that's it hence verification done next question is if minus 3 comma 2 are zeros of a polynomial then find the polynomial in the previous questions they gave the polynomial by using that polynomial we did zeros but in this case he gave it in reverse he only gave zeros and we need to find out the polynomial for that so <clears throat> one 0 I am taking as alpha and 1 I am taking it as beta so now what is the formula to find out a polynomial when zeros are given that is k into x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta k as it is into x square minus alpha is minus 3 plus beta is 2 into x plus alpha is minus 3 into beta is 2 so let us simplify this further k into x square minus minus 3 plus 2 minus 1 into x plus into minus minus 3 to the 6 so that will be k into x square minus into minus plus 1 into x 1x or simply x minus 6. Now if k is equals to 1 in the place of k if we substitute 1, 1 doesn't change anything so remaining we will get it. x square plus x minus 6 is the required polynomial. Moving to the next question, <clears throat> divide 2x square plus 3x plus 1 by x plus 2. Divisor is x plus 2 and the dividend is 2x square plus 3x plus 1. x should be multiplied by what? We will get 2x square that is 2x x into 2x is 2x square x we multiplied with 2x so 2 also we need to multiply with 2x only 2 into 2x 4x now we need to do subtraction right so this plus becomes minus plus become minus these two cancel 3x minus 4x minus 1x 
drop one as it is down so now again x should be multiplied by what we will get minus 1x that is minus 1 x into minus 1 is minus 1x so x we multiplied with minus 1 then 2 also we need to multiply with minus 1 only 2 into minus 1 minus 2 again we will do subtraction so minus becomes plus minus become plus minus 1x plus 1x cancel 1 plus 2 is 3 and this is the remainder so 3 is the remainder and 2x minus 1 is the quotient